In this um, video we're going to look at quadratic sequences. Like in any sequence, the first term is term 1, then term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5, and so on. Okay. Now, we have a sequence 3, 10, 21, 36, and the next term we want to find. Let's just check if it's linear. Well, if it is linear, the first difference is going to be the same. So 3 to 10 will give us 7, a jump of 7. 10 to 21 will give us a jump of 11, and 21 to 36 will give us a jump of 15. So these first differences are not the same. Therefore, it's not a linear or arithmetic sequence. We go again now. We see what the second difference is. That's a jump of 4, and that's a jump of 4. They're the same. If the second difference is the same, well then it's a quadratic sequence. Okay? We need to know that. First difference is the same, it's a linear sequence. Second difference is the same, it's a quadratic sequence. By this logic then, I can say, well the next jump... 15 will bring us to 19, and then 36 plus 19 is 55. Okay? If I wanted to get to 6, then just think of it this way we draw in our arcs. 19 plus 4 is 23, and 50, 55 plus, 3 plus 23 is 78. Okay? What if I wanted though T99? Again, you could keep doing this, but you'd be an awful long time doing it. They might give us the TN formula. Okay, they may do it. Um, let's say they do. Right. So let's say they give us the TN formula for this, and the TN formula for this, just because I know it, is this. So right. 2N squared plus N. Okay, so if they give us this TN formula. Well then it's easy. I want to find T99, no problem at all. T99 equals slotting 99 plus N again 99. So the calculator is so squared, so 99. And that would give us 19,701. So the 99 term of that sequence. Okay. However, that in a perfect world they would give us the TN, but often they don't. Right? Often they do not give us this. They will say find T say, fourteen. Okay. Or they might say first of all find TN or the nth term, and then they might say find. 14. Okay. So now we need to find that end term. Right. Well, this is not in our log books. We need to know this. So for a quadratic sequence, here's our formula. Tn equals a n squared plus b n plus c. And a in this will be half the second And we need to know that because sometimes they, they, um, you know, they, they'll ask us to find T n, and they, that's, that's it. That's that's all they give us. So we need to know this. Right. So here we go. Here's how I'm going to find my T n. T n equals half the second difference. Well, there is the second difference for so half that is two n squared plus b n plus c. All right. Now sometimes they might they might give us the two n squared, right? They might actually do the half the second difference for us and put that in. But still we have to find b and we have to find c. So how do we do that? Well, let's have a look. T1 is 3. So that means if I put 1 in for n, I should get back out 3. So okay. So, let's see, if I put a 1 in for n, I should get back out 3. Grand. Well, let's just do a bit of work on that. 1 squared is 1, so that's 2 plus b plus c, and that will give me b plus c equals minus 1. Okay, I have one equation. Right, let's try it again. This time we'll put in 2. Plus 
see, so put in two this time. So two, two squared plus b, two plus c. And if we put in two, we should get back at a 10. Wait, I just noticed that. It should be minus one, it should be a plus one. Sorry, plus one. Anyway, back to this. So 10 equals, well, two squared is four, and that's eight plus 2b plus c, and that again is 2b plus c um, equals 2. There's a second equation. We have two equations. We have two unknowns, b and c. So we're going to use simultaneous equations to solve them. So b plus c equals 1, 2b plus c equals 2. I'm going to change my signs then to give a positive and negative pair. There's a minus, there's a minus, there's a minus. Add vertically, and I get minus b. These will cancel out. And equals minus 1. So minus b equals minus 1, so b equals 1. Plug the 1 back in for b, so I'll choose this equation. So b plus c equals 1. And b equals 1, so I'll put in 1 for b plus c equals 1, and that will give us c equals 0. Okay, now I found my b, and I found my c. Right, have a look back here. There's my b, and there's my c, so I put it back in. So, tn for this um, sequence equals 2n squared plus, now what's b? 1. So 1n plus c, which is 0. Okay. Let me tidy that up. tn equals 2n squared plus n. And that's exactly the TN. Remember up here, I um, I used the TN to find was it, um, T99, I think. Okay. That was the formula. There is our TN formula for this pragmatic sequence. So I can use that now to find, what was it, T14. Grant. Put 14 in. So T14 equals 2, 14 squared plus... 14, and that will give me 406. So turn 14 is 406. Okay. Um, likewise, I could be asked to draw this. I'm asked to draw it. Okay, now you'll be using a ruler. We have. Um, Six terms, so T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. Let's go from 3, or the 3, 10, 21, 26. 3, 10, 21, 26, 21, 26. I'm just writing them here the way I want it to keep flicking back. 55, 78. Go up in tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Okay, T one is three. Up there. T two is ten. Three is twenty one. Now that's just part of the graph, okay? Um, we could keep going on and on over here. And in general, the quadratic graph, okay, if we did it over a long period, it would look like that or like that, okay? Because it's a quadratic, okay? And we know quadratics take the shape of this, and it's a minus x value at the start, or this one is a plus. 
Okay. Um, so we'll take that from that. Okay, thanks guys.